What's up, y'all? It's Flo Millie, and I'm here with MTV to help you with your confidence. How I act confident when I feel nervous is I convince myself that I'm not nervous and I tell myself I'm just excited. You have to tell yourself, you know, I'm excited and that'll kind of like redirect your mind instead of feeling fear to feeling just, you know, ready. Because essentially when you're nervous about something, that means you're about to do something really great. So you should feel happy. How you act confident in front of a crush is number one, don't do the most. Like, relax, take a deep breath. Don't show your hand. Like, you gotta always keep a little mystery to yourself and give a little spice. Don't always be so nice to him. No matter what they wanna say, like, give it a little bit of spice and make him work for you. How you act confident writing or producing a track is have fun with it. You know, as soon as you make it work, it's just like, you're not gonna feel it, you know? Like, my thing to, for me, that what works for me is just having fun with it because that's how I started this in the first place, is just having fun. So always make sure you're in a good mood and depending on what you wanna write about, because sometimes everything ain't all peaches and cream, but you know, I feel like the best way to feel confident is just to put yourself in a good energy space and keep your thoughts positive. How you act or stay confident when somebody's being a jerk or a to you is to use reverse psychology. Like, don't stoop to their level. Don't give them the reaction they want. So you basically do the opposite of what they want. So if you know somebody's trying to like provoke you or trying to piss you off or saying something to get on your nerves or under your skin, you know essentially the end goal is they want to see you sweat. So if you know what they want, take that and do the exact opposite and don't sweat. If anything, invoke emotions of happiness and that's gonna piss them off. Is being confident the same as being a diva? I don't think so, no. I don't look at being a diva as a bad thing. You know, especially nowadays, I feel like you gotta kinda have that because it's like, you know, people will run over you, so you gotta like show that sometimes, you know. But it's, it's, it's something wrong with being a you know, 24 seven unprovoked. Like I'm not promoting that and mistreating people, but like you should be able to feel like, you know, you that girl. It's hardest for me to feel confident when, you know, if I'm going through something in life and then like I have a lot of responsibilities, you know, if I don't feel like I'm right within, it's kind of hard to like maneuver and do things I'm supposed to do. So I think that's the, you know, source. Your source has to be A1. Like you have to make sure you're good within yourself in order to like spread that energy out to the world, so. Yes. There is a difference between being confident and conceited. I feel like confidence is just what it is. It's confidence. You're comfortable in your own skin. And I think conceited is just like that. It's just taking it up a notch or a couple notches. <laughs> if I had to give advice to somebody who wants to be more confident, I would just tell you to keep a journal, write down your feelings, write down affirmations that you want to be, you know? Like, if you want to be a bitch and you feel like you're not a bitch, write it down. Like, I'm a bitch, or, you know, write down things that you feel about yourself. I am beautiful, I am smart, I am talented, I am charismatic, I am wonderful, I am abundant. Like, start to write down things you want to be and then say them and repeat them and continuously repeat them and then practice it. Like, if you're in school, say those 10 things you want to be in the bathroom stall and then go outside and, and keep saying it in your head and walk with it. And watch how your walk, your demeanor, everything changes. People will feel that aura about you and you'll be, boom, voila, confident. Thank y'all for watching. Keep watching my MTV Push episode and don't forget to stream my new album, You Still Hear Ho, on all streaming platforms. Bye.